Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to be starting off, as you may be able to tell, sorry to again uh, timestamp when I'm recording this video. Um, I'm I, I'm thinking about moving the screen back over here. I don't know. I Someone had said it, it might just because when I was playing before I was like really leaning in. So the audio was having some issues um, because of the I'm on, I'm on observation duty. I think that was mostly why I was leaning in way too much. So I'm going to try to just remind myself to sit back and we're going to see how it goes with the series. But if suddenly uh, that changes, I will just be looking this way instead. Uh, but I think we'll be fine. I, I think I can keep in mind that camera's over here, screen's over here, um, mic's here without any issues. <laughs> But let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to start this series um, of Forspoken. Uh, I think, I don't know how realistic it is, but I think that I'm going to uh, maybe do three videos a week. I think I'll do maybe like episode one of this on like Monday and then Friday will be episode two. And then um, I'm thinking that probably on... Wednesday, I'll do like different one-offs. Maybe I'll do more. I'm on I, uh, uh, words. I'm on a, I'm on observation duty. Sorry, I just ate terrible food. I don't recommend fast food, especially when you're trying to lose weight like I am. But I did it because that's what happened, and I regret it intensely. But let's just get into this. Uh, talk about it more. So I did some tests. Because I was having issues again, uh, but there should not be any issues. Oh, I love that music. Um, going into this, uh, I also found out the issue that I the issue I'm having is due to my RAM. My RAM is not working correctly. Uh, I have I have a faulty stick of RAM. <clears throat> so really, I basically only have one stick of RAM that's working. Um, so I have very little RAM <laughs> in my computer. Um, so I got some new RAM coming, which was expensive, this RAM is expensive, and it's better RAM. So I'm hoping that will resolve the issues that I was having, but everything should play fine. The quality may be a little lower. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. Um, but we're going to go default because I, we I are going to focus on all three. Um, I like that music though. Um, I still can't control the volume. Um, it was actually suggested to me that we'll do ray tracing. I tested this on a game that had ray tracing and it seemed to work without issue. So we're going to do <laughs> ray tracing. And hopefully it works fine. Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? Guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Interesting. Courthouse in New York. Honorable Judge Maya Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Holland. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How'd he plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. <laughs> I feel like this is a trick of some sort. Now, before we begin. Perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. Read the diagram on the left. Oh, interesting. Diploma. Hudson Pier High School. We got City Police Department. The City Gazette. Interesting. Um, I'm assuming it's going to let us. I'm just going to take a quick sip because hydration is key. Also, this... This is also not great for you, but it's vitamin water zeros, so it's at least zero calories. Um, I forgot what I even got. 
I think it's Tropical Punch or something. I'm not huge on Punch. I don't know why I went for that. Uh, before we continue, I will say one more thing very quickly, very briefly, I promise. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh my goodness. ADHD, brain, fart, blah, blah, blah. blah. Oh boy. Uh, oh, <clears throat> let's start with this. I heard not good things about this game. I don't really go on social media. I don't like it. I think there's too much negativity on there and it's really hard to find and stay in the positive on there. And then my ADHD, I end up scrolling for hours on end and then I'm like, what happened? Where did the day go? So I just kind of try to avoid it altogether. Um, so I basically really only watch YouTube and some Twitch stuff. Uh, and that's my only kind of social media of any kind of sorts, if you can count that. Um, but I heard some negative things about this game. I don't really know what they were about it, um, but I, I thought this game looked really good. Um, I didn't even play the demo because I wanted to play it for the first time. And then when I decided I was going to stream, it, I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play it on stream. Yeah, on stream for my videos because um, I've been thinking about streaming. Um, I did a couple streams in the past, but it didn't go well. But I'm thinking about doing some streams eventually. Um, so making videos of this game because it looks really good. And I thought it looked really interesting. Um, and I didn't realize that she's from New York. Um, I'm not from New York City originally, but I grew up in upstate New York and the Adirondacks uh, up in the mountains. Um, a lot of people think of New York as a city. We'll do left first. Um, just the city. Like the city's the whole entire. Okay, like, I haven't seen this in a while. Um, and then we'll do right. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. So I was a discovered baby. So I, so I think she goes into another world. So is she even originally from this world? Um, but yeah, New York, um, just to finish what I was saying earlier, New York is, I want to say mostly mountains and, and forests. It, it's, about as most places in New York, you're you're pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and unless you're in a city in New York. And even then, you can you know most cities in New York are pretty small. Unless you go to like Albany, Rochester, New York City. Um, New York City's on a little tiny island, basically, uh, at the very one end point of New York State. Um, but anytime I tell people I'm from New York, they're like, "Oh, what's it like living in the city?" I'm like, "I have." <laughs> no idea i grew up surrounded by trees in the mountains in the woods um my whole entire life so i have no idea uh i live now closest to a town that i've ever been and it's weird and it feels strange and i hear cars more than i ever have and sirens and i i don't like it um and it's a small town that i'm basically in now um and i'm not i'm not super fond of it i miss <laughs> i miss my tree neighbors uh i miss being able to just walk into the woods um, but New York, I say overall, my fiance, will, if she watches this, will be super aggravated because she says I'm obsessed with New York. I'm not, but there, there is no outdoors. New York is very unique with its outdoors, the way they do the outdoor stuff out there, the way their like trails are and how they manage like just like public uh sections for like lakes rivers uh, uh state park uh, or it's just state land woods uh entrances and the way they manage that it's very different it makes it very easy very accessible there are, um you can go to probably a million plus different places and you if that place is packed you can go to another one but a lot of times they're not packed because there's a bajillion of them um and it's quiet, but it's well maintained. They keep areas really nice for people to go and sit and be at. Um, and they do that all over the state. So they just manage it really well. Uh, they have a really big thing on 
for their infrastructure for roads and stuff. So most roads you'll drive up, even in the middle of nowhere, are much nicer than most places um, and more well maintained, more wide. Well, maybe not well maintained, but much wider at the very least. So it's really nice state to just kind of like drive around, explore. And if you're big into the outdoors and nature like I am, because I grew up there, uh, it makes it very easy to just be in nature and be surrounded by it all the time. Uh, it's definitely a very unique and special place compared to most places. I think the closest place to it is probably Maine and similar to it is probably like Maine and maybe I I know a lot of people say Vermont, but Vermont is it's so much more different in so many ways. But I'm I'm going on now about it. Um, but yeah, if you're ever interested in like exploring a state, especially a state that probably has one of the most haunted locations, because every single place in New York has a haunted haunt ghost is either haunted or has a ghost story attached to it, whether they want to talk about it or not. So there's like if you're into paranormal stuff, you could you could probably spend several years just going to a new location every week and never run out of a location for a long, a long time, probably longer than that, to be honest. You know, it's home to like Sleepy Hollow and the, sta- the tale of the Headless Horseman originates from there, um, which a lot of people, I guess, did not know that. Um, but more than that, too, like a, a million things. Uh, it's just uniquely beautiful, uniquely fun. And I do miss it because um, I was spoiled there. Uh, I had a lot of stuff that I, I didn't realize I was giving up on because I just expected other states and other areas to have what, you know, that entire state offers. And they don't. But let's keep playing. Sorry. <laughs> Wow, look I'm at that. Angle. Looks like a person. Is that a picture of a real person? Did they base her on a real afraid? person? Grand Larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just I needed the cash for. <sighs> Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the persistent felony offender law, also known as the three strikes Check law? It. Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts, and with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I can do so much more with my life. I I I'm a smart girl with a bright future. I was going to say you have so much anger and resentment in you. I'm not sure you'll ever amount to anything mm. at all. Truth hurts. But in the holiday spirit, I oh, a holiday. give you an early present. Is this like a Christmas like movie? Sit away. What's the present? I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Thanks. You won't regret it. Next time you end up in front of me, I will not be as lenient. We clear? Good. You're free to go. Pray. One more thing. Happy almost birthday. It's not too late to start using even look at when her birthday others. is. I mean, it looks great. I love the way it looks. It's drawing me in already. Oh, I like the way they did that too. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Don't get in trouble again. I know that's easier said than done, though. Especially in hey, New York City. Excuse Start me. There. Your phone. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. No worries. Happens to all of us. You saved my life. Seriously. Happy holidays. Um, happy holidays.
I should get back to Homer. Oh, hmm. girl needs her dinner. You goody cat. Oh, I get to walk around now? Wait, what? No. It's... Oh. This is fun. Tracking object. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I promise I'll stop talking about New York after this. One final thing. Um, I've only ever been to New York City once, so I can't say a ton about it. I've never been to most of the places there either. Um, I went there to go to a museum on like a day trip and went back. Um, so I don't know a ton about it other than what I've been told and heard by people who have been there that I uh, knew. Um... But a lot of people have, oh, it's the court touching me. Um, a lot of people have this, well, I should just, let me say it this way. New Yorkers have this stigma against them that they are very rude and they're mean people. Um, like it's not nice. And then in New York City, especially like people aren't like they're, they're, they're mean, you know, it's a hard city to get it through because it, it's mean and all these other things. And I'm not going to judge any of the cities. I'm just going to say it's a lot better than some other very big cities that a lot of people go to that are very nice forward, nice up front, but very shitty in the back, very fake. Um, I'll, I'll, and this isn't always the case, but something that I really appreciate about New York that I don't know so far of all the places I've been to, um, and I haven't experienced this anywhere else yet, um, but a big thing there is um what you see is what you get most of the time um so instead of a lot of maybe that fakeness that upfrontness uh all new yorkers a lot of times typical the typical culture is bluntness i'm also very blunt everyone i know is also very blunt um and that tends to be the case so a lot of people see bluntness as being mean however you will be very hard pressed to find someone in most of New York upstate central or Southern New York, or even New York city that isn't going to help you. If, if you ask for help or someone sees you struggling, they're going to stop. They're going to help you. It's, it's very much that attitude. Like not only was I raised that way, so I'm not, I'm not saying it just because like I was raised, raised that way, but everyone I've met in upstate central New York. And even when I was in the city, like, they didn't know I was from upstate New York, so they weren't treating me different just because I was also from New York, but farther, further away. People went out of their way to help me. People are, they're very kind, but they're very blunt. So where another person might, you know, put on kind of like a face or attitude and be like, um, I don't know. You know, just to be like extra nice to you, uh, you know, I would say it's kind of similar to Boston in this way, like especially depending on who you talk to, like they'll be a blunt. They'll be like, oh, you'll you lost. What are you stupid? Let me help you. You know, like they'll they'll talk in a way that can come off kind of mean is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but they will tr still help you. They're still go out of their way to do something for you um, if they see you struggling as, or if you ask them. So. In the whole thing that, you know, New Yorkers are mean and rude um, really isn't true. I just think they come off that way due to how blunt they are. And they just kind of, you know, say what they're thinking. And which isn't always a good thing. I'm not not justifying it for sure. But uh, compared to most places um, where, like, they go out of the way just to be, like, overly nice um I, I prefer the bluntness personally. I, I, I can get the appeal. I like that Southern hospitality. Like even if it's someone you hate, you don't want to deal with, like you're just nice all the time. And then you talk shit. No, maybe not talk shit. Maybe that's the wrong way to say it. But point is now it sounds like I'm trying to diss the South and all these other people, but um, I'm not, I'm just saying New Yorkers really aren't mean and rude for the most part. And I, like I said, you'll be hard pressed to find someone who isn't willing to help you. Um, including people who have a very are struggling, have a bad off. Like they, they go out, of, go out of their way to help. Um, 
a lot of a lot of kindness up there um it just they do it in a different way it's a different style of kindness and caring um but i get i do get why it comes off wrong that judge may have had a point but it's not like i can just change who i am and if i get caught one more time my life is over which is why i gotta get the hell out of town so your goal is to keep committing larceny but just go to a different town to do it i need to go right. straight home i get run over this is fun i would love to have a game just in new york city just so i can walk around it and not have to deal with uh when I was in New York City, the, uh, all the areas I went to were were empty. Um, this is fun. Can I like jump? Can I do anything else? Just run, just run, just run. Yep. Okay. I hate the cold. Gotta get inside. You just go in places? No. Check. So the holiday is Christmas. She did say that, didn't she? I would love to go to New York City and actually explore it and see it, though, in person. Hello? Goodbye. Oh, fuck. Uh, Ray. Thought we wouldn't find you? Hey, uh... Uh... Lisa! This ain't Lisa? good. Really? I thought she was Lisa. That's Chrissy! <laughs> uh, in my defense, you don't really look like a Lisa. Oh, Where is it? shit. <laughs> oh, I don't have it, right? I mean, oh... Is a whistle. Like I wanted to get caught stealing the car, but here we are. <laughs> oh. We don't like complications. <sighs> you are running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. <sighs> oh. Frickin'. Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. What's so special about this car anyway? It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. <laughs> Giggin. <laughs> so unless you get it back, one of us is going to be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep joking. Oh shit, she got a gun. This fucking alley and I promise you no one is going to miss you. No. Okay. I got a point in my face once. Giggin, 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 giggin! All right, gig, gig, quick, gig, giggin, quick, gig. I, I just tell him, I, I, I need some more time. But, but for now, here's some collateral. Yeah, it was not that epic when I had a gun held in my face. Ooh, damn. <laughs> Oh, parkour. Yeah, love parkour. Can't do it. I try to sometimes, but I love it. Oh, shit. Okay. And now I can jump using X. Okay. 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 Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Oh, Now's not the go. time. I'm can't so can't be being nice right now. We got it. We got to run, I girl. Oh shit. Nice. I'm liking this already. Hopefully I'll 
I'll lose them when I get out on the street. Almost there. I have a feeling it's not going to go well. Hop on the bus. <laughs> Where'd she go? Huh? Did she get on the bus? Where'd she go? I don't know. If he knew, he'd have me. Well, he'd have Frey. They said there's no point in running. <laughs> Turns out there was. Palmer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze. Oops. You can't go through the normal entrance? Are you squatting in an abandoned apartment? I want to be the first person. like it. Oh, well, it's got electricity. Home sweet hell. The archive records the details of any written materials you find, people you meet, and a host of other useful things you can access from the main menu. Oh, so I can read about myself then. Oh, Hell's Kitchen. Yep. Resident of Hell's Kitchen, who's just about to turn 21. Having been abandoned as a baby near the entrance to the Holland Tunnel, she spent years that followed moving from one foster home to the next. Oh, that sucks. Foster homes can be great, but also typically are very bad. It's hard to get into a good foster home. Upon graduating from high school, she set out to make a life for herself in the city. Despite her repeated run-ins with the law since then, she's determined to make a clean break somewhere else. I mean, obviously, you have to get out of there because they're not going to leave you be. So, I mean, even if you're going to go straight and narrow, you got to get away from those people who are going to pull you back into it. Um, I actually knew someone who did. Uh, just another day look for Homer. Look at this palace. Some thoughtful soul even made holes in the wall so the wind could let itself in. All right, quick inventory. Favorite book, check. Favorite kicks, check. And the big bag of cash that's going to get us out of the shithole, double check. Speaking of which, where's Homer? Go back to characters for a second. Oh, he's even got a character info on that. Uh, but yeah, I knew someone who uh, did uh, foster kids. And they did what I think a lot of good foster homes do. When they end up fostering kids because they are so caring and so kind, they get attached to the kids they're fostering. And a lot of times, those people who are fostering them will try to then also adopt them. And the person I know who used to foster, that's exactly what happened. They ended up getting uh, a few different kids. Two of them were siblings. Two of them were not um Broke up in ages, so I think four kids. Four, maybe it was only three. Maybe it was two siblings and one non-sibling. I don't know, something like that. Um, it's been a while since I talked to them. It was a long time ago, uh, and they ended up adopting them um, and raising them themselves, uh, which took a lot of work because the parents they were in foster care, but the parents uh, did not want to give up their rights to them. So they were bouncing in and out of foster care, but they couldn't be adopted. So they had, a, they actually fought to be able to adopt them. Um, but a lot of kids aren't that lucky and don't get that. So, and I think a lot of the people who are caring, like I said, end up not fostering more because they end up a lot of times, I think just adopting the kids. So the long suffering New York judge who presided over Frey's latest case. Although she could have thrown a book at Frey for her repeated offenses, she decided to let her off with the community service instead. The surprisingly lenient gesture may well have something to do with the fact that Judge Bird wasn't always on the right side of law herself. She has more reason than most to believe that anyone is capable of turning over a new leaf. Everyone is. <clears throat> Lisa Ortega. 
the leader of a gang of New York street thugs. She works for the big local boss who set her and her associates the task of tracking Frey down after the cops seized a car she tried to steal for them. Lisa is a firm believer in making people pay for their mistakes, especially when she'll be the one paying otherwise. A prominent member of the gang in New York Street Thugs, Chrissy Robinson. She joined the gang at Lisa's invitation, the two having been as close as sisters ever since they were little. Although forced to work with Frey on occasion, Chrissy finds herself finds her inability to do as she's told infuriating. Especially now her failure to steal the car they asked her to have asked her to has landed them all in trouble. <laughs> I'm so sorry. World. A bustling metropolis dominated by a dazzling sea of skyscrapers. But danger lurks in the shadows cast bright. Oh God, I skipped a word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I skipped two words. And the shadows cast by the bright city lights. Those lights shine even brighter at Christmas. As decorations are strung and families gather for the holiday season. Sadly, for lonely Frey, these lights bring no holiday joy at all. That is something else I miss. I can see, there's spots I can see the stars here. And I can see the stars okay where I live. But because I was always surrounded by trees. The, I could go outside and stargaze. And it's just it was always so beautiful. And I miss being able to very easily just look at the stars like that record of arrest and prosecution you looked at this earlier 511 oh she's taller than average i think right average female as well five four five five newspaper clipping and baby photo i'll read this because i think this is the news clip at use Clayper. <laughs> Clipping in paper. Clayper, if you're wondering. A uh, newborn found near Holland Tunnel. A newborn abandoned near the entrance of the Holland Tunnel was recovered by the FDNY late last night after a tip off from a passerby. A passerby. <laughs> wow, I cannot read today. <laughs> the baby girl is currently under observation at the Midtown Medical Center and is reported to be in good health. Her family has yet to be located, but first responders believe the word Elfrey. I'm assuming it's Elfrey. Maybe it's not. I'm assuming Elfrey because her, her she's called Frey. So I'm assuming it's Al Frey. Al Frey. <laughs> Embroidered on the blanket in which the child was wrapped may hold a clue to the child's identity. Despite the extensive examination of surveillance footage, authorities have yet to identify any potential leads. Members of the public who believe they may have relevant information are urged to come forward. Oh, I didn't even notice the photo over in the library. Library. Uh, that's another thing I miss is New York has great, a great library system. There's literally a library like every, every five to ten minutes, every small town, every even places that you can't tell are a town have a library somewhere in them. Uh, so I like grew up going to libraries all the time and reading and I miss libraries in general. Um, I've been in one in a while now and I just want to go there and sit in the aisle way and look at some book. Yeah, some box, <laughs> some books and just find something that I want to read so badly that I have no choice but to borrow it. Um, yeah, love libraries. Diploma certifying the Frey graduated from the Hudson Pier High School, accompanied by a photograph from her file supplied by the New York State Office of Children and Family Services. An old report from her file reads, While Alfrey has been placed in six foster homes today, most of these placements have been terminated for a variety of caregiver-related reasons. It should be noted that she has maintained excellent academic performance despite these frequent upheavals. Her current caregivers do not believe she will choose to remain in their care upon completing her high school education. Tutorials. We don't need that. Okay, let's let's find Homer. Where you at, Kitty Kitty? Here's your food. Can I just use your food to like call you? I can. I definitely can. Let's check out some more things though. Alice in Wonderland. 
I wasn't super fond of the movie, but I, I liked parts of the story, and I saw a play once of Alice in Wonderland that was amazing. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. I wonder if that's what this is about, or based on, like, Alice in Wonderland, but instead of, you know, being Alice, she's Alfrey, and she's from another place, and the tunnel took her here. Pretty. Oh, fun. I like, I really like the way they did this. Kicks. I knew some kids that used to steal shoes and sell them. Oh, this is a shoe box. So that makes more sense. The Holland Tunnel, site of my folks' great disappearing act. Also love the name Elfrey. And Frey. Who a newborn baby on the street? I don't know. I'll have to see if we can find out. Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. Oh yeah, because that's her last name is Holland now. Yeah. Cool shoes. I like them. My favorite kicks. Yeah, they're cool. I like could stare at you guys all day. I have a soft spot for high tops too. The only thing I don't like about the other two, I have this thing with white. It just gets so dirty, and sometimes it's so hard to clean. I don't. It's not that I don't like the way it looks. It's just, especially when you are mostly in nature all the time, it's just dirty all the time. And it's like, I just, I just need black shoes, <laughs> black base. I need a black base. I have to escape plan. Get enough cash. Take care. Take care of Gigan. Shit, one last time. Food and carrier for Homer. Buy ticket Penn Station. 1223 leave. Plane? Is she gonna take a plane? I wonder where she where she's gonna try to escape to. Especially if she has a bag of cash, because you would think You you can take the train and a bus basically from anywhere. Well, basically to Pretty much anywhere you'd want to go. Um, so I just I wonder where she is trying to go. That you know, and that makes sense if she needs a lot of money, other than just for her lovely cat Homer, which I'm sure is adorable as this picture is. But I see a plane, so she'd plan on taking a bus and then taking a, getting a plane ticket and flying across the country. Um, I actually had a kid once from uh, that came to my school as a kid to New York City. Where it? I mean, I don't see him anywhere. I hope this food sure summons him because I don't see him. Assume I can't find him. I have to use the food. Uh, we I had cats growing up, and that's what we would do if they ever got out. Just go out with some food and shake it in a bowl or in the, a bag, and they typically would come. She doesn't like this. Purr blend. But it's all I have. I wonder where Homer's at. Oh my gosh, she got the little cat laser too. So that wasn't? Oh, uh, okay. I had to do that to unlock the next part. That makes sense. I also love that she won't abandon her cat, you know. Homer has to be part of her plan to escape. Finally I can start over. Took so it looks like a lot of money. Should be. I mean the biggest thing is obviously even because even if you took the cheap route a bus to a town 
two, three hours away to central upstate New York or even Connecticut or something like that. Um, you still need money for a place and stuff if you didn't want, you know, if you're trying to like start over fresh without also then being homeless, living out, because especially her, like the only other thing she could do is buy a bunch of stuff, and maybe bring some supplies and then hopefully find a spot to camp out and be homeless once you try to find a job and stuff. There's Homer. Oh, thank you, Homer. Miss me? Oh, well, thank you. But my birthday isn't for another few days. <laughs> Tell you what, I almost forgot. Been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know, important things to do. Riding court, slaying dragons. <laughs> I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. No big deal. Everybody needs me. We are getting out of the city, Homer. Away from the assholes, the garbage, the cops. I, I thought it's just enough to get us started. Yeah. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Even ones like you. No more cops, no more fights. <sighs> Tomorrow. One more sleep, and we are out of here. <sighs> Can't wait to be in the other place with this. Very good voice acting, too. <laughs> I must be afraid to sleep there after they're being just because they're after her. Oh, shit, fire. Oh shit, girl, get up. Where's Homer? Shit. Just grab the Homer. fucking bag of money, girl, get the cat, and go. get out of there. I'm so sorry, I swore. <laughs> I'm very invested. Grab. Gotta find Homer first. Okay. I would have just grabbed, grabbed. Homer! Come on, baby. I heard him. Homer! Oh, holy shit! Okay, get the kitty, get the kitty, get the kitty, yeah, 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 yeah. No, ah, no, see, no. that's why I would have grabbed the money and then... I mean, the money's right there, so... Fuck the bag. Jump through. Window it is. Oh, shit. See, that's what I was talking about. I'd be so worried that they would find me. <laughs> and finally, like, they were the pissed. The that engulfed the abandoned building in the Hell's Kitchen district of Manhattan has been ruled as arson. Luckily, no one was harmed in the fire. The FDMY believe it was set by some local gang members. The suspects are still at large. I can't even get a cat here. I just. Whew. Cat's got a collar. Sorry, girl. Try to find some rope or something. And at least have a leash. Carrier to start walking out of the city. Just start trying to walk. That's all you can do, right? Frank. Judge. What happened to you? 
You look like hell. Are you allergic? What? To cats. Are you allergic to cats? No, I, I love cats, but are you in trouble? Good. She likes wet food, the flaky kind, not pate. She needs a warm place to sleep, maybe a lap every once in a while. And she needs a bath, but good luck with that. Frey, <laughs> what's going on? Her name is Homer. Promise me you'll look after her. Promise. Thank you. What are you doing, Frey? The right thing. I need some time to, to sort some stuff out, but I'll come back for her. It just might take a while. Frey, wait. If you're in trouble, I can help you, Frey. Happy holidays. Frey can help you. All right. Homer safe. Now what am I going to do? I still try to leave the city, at least temporarily come back for the cat after. Try to... Try to get out, camp out, get a convenience store job if you can. Something. What else are you gonna do? Full circle. Happy birthday to me. Did some adjustments for my mic. Thanks, Mom. Whoever she is. No, I'm gonna fix things. Get Homer back. Finally get out of... Oh. Schniggle schnaggle. I was actually worried about the cat, because I knew eventually this was gonna happen, right? That was a cool little bug. Are we gonna chase it? Huh? Is, is, or is it like a any bird? What? I don't know. Oh jeez. We're not alone. Be addiction. Yeah. Addiction's a hard thing to escape. Mm. I think it's harder than ever actually right now. Not even because of Big Pharma, sadly, but I won't get into that. Too much. Positive. Dun, 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 dun. Can I go faster? Letters are always so slow. Oh, it's just sitting it's there. Is this is Nope. Not getting in that way. Must be another way. Up here. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely no one in here. Seriously? Who would just leave this? Some nice stuff here. I would totally. I would love this. I love. Eh, well, they're a little bit. They're rougher, but honestly, I like them too. They're probably heavy. They're probably. Solid hardwood. Look at those bookshelves. Oh, I would love giant bookshelves like that. Oh, can you just stack them? Can I just stack them? Well, I mean, I don't got enough roof, but can I just stack another bookshelf on my bookshelf? I think it would crush it. Breaking the weight limit. Oh, I could put supports on the wall for it. I think you have holes in the wall. I just built a large bookshelf. Should we just touch it? I feel like once we touch it, this is our Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. But I was worried that the because I knew eventually we'd go to a, like a different world because that's like the trailer of the game. But so I was really worried. I was like, well, what what's going to happen to Homer? Is he going to leave him there? I mean, wow.
Oh. Old pizza under that. <laughs> Saw a slice in there. What? Oh. Mm. Oh. <sighs> We're not in New York anymore now. Yeah, we'll save. Might as well. Sure. Down the rabbit hole. Is that why we were found at the Holland Hole? There's like a little portal entrance there. They just left the cuff there. Ooh, that's cool. The Holland Tunnel. Pretty though. I like those lights. Ray's journey down the rabbit hole. Probably not gonna really let me explore much in here. Yeah, get out of the room. I get it. Where am I? What's happened to me? I definitely already love the premise of this game, that's for sure. I love the look of it. Oh, look at the way her hair's. I like that. Nice little touch. Damn, that is a serious draft. Oh, pretty. Whoa. Super pretty. Super cool. Here. Who's there? I'm technically not there. Well, not what you would call us, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself. Show myself? I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in two. Where are you? <laughs> right here at the end of your arm. Oh, it's the bracelet. Or the cuff. The thing that you so fruitlessly tried to remove. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. <laughs> Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this... Cuff? Cuff? It's a bit reductive, isn't it? Cuff? Gauntlet, maybe. Van Brace. Oh, Van Brace. Van Brace. Yeah, no, it's definitely Van Brace. No, 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 this is batshit bananas! <coughs> and yet, it's the truth! Stop your hurting me now! Seriously? No. <laughs> but what you're doing is completely futile. How is this happening? Well, what were you doing before this was happening? Hmm? I was... Doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter at this point, that's for sure. Chapter 2, Stuck. Still here. Whoever is doing this, stop. This is one sick joke. I am out of here. You can't run away from me. I am literally attached to you. Why don't we settle down a bit and talk about ourselves? Talk about <laughs> our interests in life, perhaps. I am not hearing this. This is all a bad dream. Can't jump anymore, though, for some reason. Just figured look in here again just to see all right guess we have to look around outside of this room only i'm 
fine with that. It's very pretty. Ooh, look at the birdies. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Birdies. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go left. Can I jump now? Still can't jump. Okay. Good to know. Oops. So pretty though. I, I do. I'm really liking the concept of this game. I don't know why. Because I think I heard something about like they didn't like the voice acting. But I feel like she, she's a very good. Like I feel like the voice acting is very good. At least I like it. I think she's doing a good job. There's definitely more places I can see and go to here. Just not. Be careful not to trip on anything. Yet. You can also see things? This cannot be fucking real. <laughs> <sighs> Listen to me, Frey. How the hell do you know my name? We are bonded. Bonded? <laughs> what do you mean bonded? Why is this happening? This is... No. On bond. On bond now. <laughs> As you can see, you're stuck with me. And I with you. And only you can hear me. Stop! Stop talking! This is completely insane! Frey, slow down. You need to listen to me. No, what I need is to figure out how to get back. I, I thought I wanted out. I was wrong. I was in a bad place. Well, this place might be worse depending on how you look at it. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, well, I think what we'll do is we'll stop there for now. Um, this will be just under an hour, probably like 54, 55 minutes-ish. Um, I'm super excited for this game. Uh, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, um, my brain went blank for a second there. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to play it and see more of it. I think it looks great. I... I really like the music and the game that I've heard so far. I like the voice acting, the sounds. I like the little like nice touches and effects they've already added. Uh, it looks very promising. I'm already very invested in the story. So I hope you, uh, everyone watching also enjoys it because this is the next series <laughs> other than maybe someone else we're going to do. Um, but we'll stop this one here, like I said. And we'll continue right from this point. Um, thank you so much for watching. And hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos so you can see the new ones coming out. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff. This will be another long-term series. I don't know how long because I don't know how long this game is. Um, but I'll, I'll do other stuff. And if I feel like it's taking too long, maybe we'll do like one video a week of this and then two other ones or one other one depending on how things go schedule wise. Um, but I hope you enjoy it and are liking what you're seeing as much as I am. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.